Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and I just want to say right at the top of this video, this is not a video that in any way, shape, or form is about politics. It's not about red versus blue or conservative versus liberal. So just make sure you check that whole thing at the door, because that's not what we're talking about. This video is about just how little people who are not performers know about performers and how our business works. Uh, I was forwarded something uh, on Twitter, and let me read it to you. Secret agent number six says, Celebrities, can you please help us out by refusing to be in a commercial that is going to air on Fox News? I would be embarrassed and ashamed if my face appeared on that hate network. I would be embarrassed and ashamed if my face appeared on that hate network. Okay. I understand. I, look, people have very strong opinions. They have strong opinions in both ways. Uh, liberals hate Fox. Conservatives hate MSNBC and CNN. It's fake news. You know, wh wherever you come down on the spectrum, here's something you need to understand. Celebrities and anybody else who appear in commercials have absolutely no say whatsoever in where those commercials appear. It's not even contemplated in celebrity contracts. I mean, you can have endorsement contracts, but you can't put in your endorsement contract, uh, you know, some penalty for uh, having your stuff appear on a network that you don't agree with or that you don't want uh, to have your face on. That's not how it works. It's not up to people who appear in commercials to make any sort of stipulations about what channels those commercials appear on or if they're not in commercials, if they're in dramatic or comedic series, they have no control over where those things go. It's not their property. On the rare occasion that uh, a celebrity is an executive producer on a show or a celebrity is, in the case of commercials, uh, a part owner of the company, you know, they're a spokesman for their own company, like, say, uh, the woman that owns Goop. Um, I, her name escapes me at this moment. Um, or uh, anybody who's created Jessica Alba or, uh, you know, uh, the, the Kardashians, whatever. If they do a commercial, they still don't have the ability to declare it's not going to appear on certain shows because they can't control where those shows appear. There's syndication, there's distribution that's, uh, you know, post-network distribution. There's all kinds of things that are beyond their control, even if they control the product. And for celebrities that simply appear in uh, shows or, or in commercials where they're being paid extra money because they're famous, because they have a decent Q rating or they have a decent recall with focus groups, the, the, the decisions that are made as to where those commercials appear have, are, are way down the line from the production of the commercial or the casting of the commercial. And it just illustrated for me one more time just how clueless the public is. And I'm not saying that them being clueless is a bad thing because that's sort of that's sort of a behind the scenes thing. And it's not something that in today's world of everybody knows everything about everybody that you really want to know. There's a phrase for this in uh, in Japanese um, that roughly translates into opening the kimono. When you let people see what goes on behind the scenes, it can deteriorate the joy or the sadness or the emotion that you want them to feel by letting them know how the sausage is made. So there's a reason why civilians don't know how, you know, buys are made with spots or what channels things appear on or what control even celebrities have over what commercials appear where that they've been in. They don't have the ability to say, I want that taken off the air. They don't have the ability to say, you've got to give me more money if you're going to put, you know, put that on a channel I don't like. You know, imagine people who are, imagine celebrities who are conservative that would be bent out of shape about a, a commercial appearing on anywhere but Fox News. I, I don't know. I just know that I'm always bemused by the way that uh, people who are not in our business tend to think to their head, well, this must be the way it works, right? Those celebrities know that it's going to be on Fox News, and I want them to stop by God, or those celebrities know it's going to be on MSNBC, or who knows? You know, who knows? It's just, it's not something that's in their control, even if they're celebrities. 
I wonder when you go home for the holidays, what kind of crazy ideas people have about the business that we're in. What's Share with me some of the best stories you've had when people have said things to you. My friend Michael Kostroff uh, says, you know, you go home to Minnesota for the holidays and your aunt says, why don't you want to be on some of those really good shows like MacGyver? You know, uh, it, it just always is very funny to me. But I'd like to know, what has happened to you in your life? Maybe out of radio or maybe out of commercials or... Uh, you know, being on camera. I, I, I don't know. Let me know. We, we've got space for you to put comments below this video if you're on vo2gogo.com. Uh, and if you're not, pop on over. We've got some great stuff for you. That's where the conversation is kind of tempered. There's no, you know, red versus blue going on at vo2gogo.com. Uh, and I'd love for you to join my list so you can tell when these videos come out. There's a subscribe button somewhere below this video. If you'd like to see the latest episode of these videos that I'm doing, we're doing one a day for the entire year. Go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I appreciate you watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.